Hello guys, BPYT here, and today, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own Gorilla Tag copy, and if you're new, then welcome to the channel. Um, right now I'm trying to promote my Gorilla Tag copy by just making videos of crap, but if you want to make your own Gorilla Tag copy, then this is the video for you. There are a couple things you'll need in order for this to work. You're gonna need Discord, Unity, you will also need Playfab, and Photon. So once you join my Discord, um, you're gonna go to the spring cleaning section. This section is not here as I'm making this video, but it will soon. So that's good. So you're just gonna click on the link. Once you click on the link, you will be right here. It should say spring cleaning 2023 project copy. You're just gonna download it. Delete this if it comes up. Usually it comes up. And then you're just gonna wait for it to download. Also guys, if you guys are having any trouble at the end of the video, uh, there will be troubleshooting tips because some errors might pop up and I'll teach you how to fix those. Alright, once it's done downloading, um, you're going to exit out of your browser, then you're going to go to your files, and it should say Spring Cleaning 2023 Project. Um, it says 3 right here because I downloaded it multiple times, but all you're going to do is you're just going to right click on it. Extract all. Wait for this to pop up and click extract. And just wait for it to extract. Alright, then once it copies, uh, this folder should pop up. Um, you can minimize that. And you can close this. So now you're going to go to your Unity Hub. You're going to go to your projects. You're going to add. Add from disk. You're going to go to download. You're going to see the project that is extracted. Spring Cleaning 2023 Project Copy. You're just going to open it a couple times until you reach export project, and then after this, you're just going to click open. And then right here, it should say, um, export a project. So you're just going to click on it, and wait for it to load. And it might take a while for you, for you guys uh, to load, because this is your first time opening it up, so just be aware of that. And after you open it a couple times, it'll be pretty fast. Alright, once it's loaded, this whole thing should be popping up, and if this loads, um, you can just click on it. Alright, then once it's done, you're just gonna click X, and congratulations, you have your own Gorilla Tech copy. Now, do beware, servers do not work, you cannot buy any of the cosmetics, and you just can't really buy anything, and servers will not work. Now, in, in order for servers to work and cosmetics to work, we're going to have to go to Playfab and Photon and link the Playfab and Photon to this Gorilla Tech copy. And I will show you how to do that right now. Alright, once you in your Playfab account, uh, you should see nothing unless you made it in a game before and you're trying to make a Gorilla Tech copy. So, first you're going to go to the three lines over here. You're going to click the new title. So, you can name it like whatever you want, honestly. Uh... I'm just gonna name it, uh, dead. Um, then you're just gonna click create new title, and then boop it right there. Now you're just gonna click on it, and it should say zero players. You're gonna go to economy, currency legacy, new currency, SR shiny rocks. Make sure it's that, because it's abbreviation for shiny rocks. Now all you're gonna do is just put how many shiny rocks you want into your account. So, I'm gonna do one with zero over nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm just gonna do 1,500 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Never mind, ten doesn't work, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Now, you're gonna go back to my Discord, you're gonna go to Ask for DLC, and right here, since it's a DLC for spring cleaning, nxy.adjacent, you're gonna download this. Once it's downloaded, you're just going to go to your Playfab, you're going to go to Catalogs Legacy, you're going to do Upload Adjacent, Choose File, and then right here it should say DLC for Spring Cleaning Adjacent. Click that, open it, upload to file, and it should pop up right here. After that, we can go to Photon, and now once you're on this screen, you shouldn't have any apps unless, again, you made a game before, and you're trying to make a girl with that copy. But all you're going to do is just click Create New App, just go down. Uh, make sure it's real time and put whatever you want. I'm just gonna put dead. And then you're gonna create another app, and this time instead of real time, you're gonna select voice, and I'm just gonna name it dead voice. 
but you can name it whatever you want, guys. So it doesn't have to be exactly mine. It better not be mine, I'm saying. So now we have our app created. You're going to go back to PlayFab. You're going to go to Add-ons. Scroll down until you see Photon. Scroll down, and then you see right here how to set up Photon real-time with PlayFab. You're just going to click on it, and also make a new tab. Okay, once this loads in, you're going to scroll down until you see this link right here. Uh, you're just going to copy it. So, highlight it and click Control c You're going to go to your browser, put it in there, and do not click Enter. And with the brackets, you're going to delete PlayFab title ID. And make sure it's with the brackets. So now, we're going to go to PlayFab, and you should see like a combination of like letters and numbers right here, or numbers, or just letters. Um, yeah, um, we're going to copy and paste that onto here. Then we're just going to copy this, Control c highlight it, Control c Then we're going to go to Photon, and we're going to click Manage on the voice or the ether at the real time. You're going to click Custom Server. You're going to delete this, copy and paste that, click Save. Do not click Add New Set, click Save. You're going to the Dashboard. You're going to do the same thing with the real time and the voice. So Custom Server, delete that, paste. And now, once this is done, you're going to go to your real-time or um, voice. You're going to copy the app ID. And same thing with the voice. You're just going to copy it. And guys, make sure you do not leak this to anyone. Because they can use this to grab your play fab and pretty much just give themselves every single cosmetic. Or just delete your game entirely. Same thing with the play fab title ID. Do not leak this to anyone because it's very important to your game. Now, once this is all installed, you're just going to click Install Photon. And boom, we're done. We can just click that. And we're just going to click that. And yeah, we're pretty much done with this. But we will need this for later. So stay. Make sure these tabs are open still. So now you're going to go to Gorilla Tag, your Gorilla Tag Copy, Spring Cleaning. And um, basically, what you're going to do is going to go over here with the hierarchy. You got to search up PlayFab. In PlayFab Authenticator should pop up right here. You're going to click on it with your left click. Then you're going to go to the script, right click, edit script. And then this should pop up unless you, you're using notes or you have something else installed that pretty much does this. And now once you have it, you're just going to scroll down until you see this. This is very important. And this is where you're going to put your real time voice and title id in so we're just gonna go to our photon we're gonna control c on the app id then we're gonna delete this and just paste it in there same thing with the voice we're gonna copy and paste it delete it put it in there also with the title id Now you're just going to click uh, Control S, and if you go back to your um, game, it should say Compiling Scripts, and pretty much it's got it done. And now, once we click Play, we'll see what the magic happens. We can move them around and crap. And for him to move, uh, you're going to have to search up uh, just Player. A gorilla player should pop up. Uh, you can click X if you don't want that weird background. And yeah, um, this is your gorilla tag copy with um, servers working. I'll give you a little tutorial. You can just use that, or you can use this little red thing right here. You know, put them up there. Yeah. All right. Uh, troubleshooting. So when you click play on this update, it should say uh, unable to connect to internet. Yeah, right here, unable to connect to internet, and this is very, this is a very common issue for most Gorilla Tag projects. I don't know why, but they have this on default, and it is honestly a really extremely easy fix. It is not that hard whatsoever. So all you're gonna do is just go to your PlayFab, then you go to Settings, API Features, scroll down until you see Disable uh, Player Creations. These should be checked if um, this is appearing. All you're gonna do is just uncheck them. Save. And we're gonna click play again. 
and it gonna work. And as, as you can see, it's not this anymore. It's it's not player error, uh, internet connection error anymore. You can actually uh, fix that. All right, another tr uh, troubleshooting tip is this error right here. This is also very common with the internet connection error, and it's also a sort of easy fix as long as you can um, uh, listen carefully. And if you're if you can listen, then this should be a pretty easy fix. Yeah, um, please update to the latest version of Girl Attack Fix uh, error is a really easy fix, and I'll teach you how to do that right now. So in the description there is um, my Discord, and once you joined it, you're just gonna go to revisions, and pretty much you're just gonna copy and paste this whole thing. Click Control uh, C, and now you're gonna go to Playfab. You're gonna go to Automation Revisions. Then once this is up, you're just gonna click, um, put a space right there on the first line, and then you're right here, you're just gonna copy that. Then you're gonna click save as revision to, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it, save and deploy revision, and now we'll see if the servers work when we restart our game. As you guys can see, um, it's fixed. Every single thing is fixed. Uh, we're gonna go to a public server to see if servers work. So let's bring this biggie guy over here. Drag him up there. It might freeze like this. All you're gonna do is click the pause button, and it might pause again. Maybe not this time. And uh, it's actually picking up my mic right now. And yeah, um, uh, servers work. Um, Pretty much everything works. Uh, yeah, this is how to make your own Gorilla Tag copy. And um, now it isn't fully made. Uh, you're gonna have to add an anti cheat if you don't want people dealing the game. And um, yeah, that's very major. And also, if you want to know how to publish your game on itch.io, I will teach you that in the next video. So if you guys want to how to upload your own Gorilla Tag game to um, itch.io, uh, that will be the next video. And I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe and uh, join the Discord to get all these. And yeah, I'll post some more tutorials soon.